What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. So I've got a question asking if I can show how I would mix vocals using Logic Pro X plugins, stock plugins. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mix vocals so you can get it sounding professional using just Logic Pro stock plugins. But before we jump into that video, quickly do my shout outs because I appreciate everyone that subscribes to my channel. And if I don't shout you out today, just know that I'm appreciative of you being a part of this channel and the community as we grow and help each other to be the best at what we do. Shout out my two new subscribers, DD Trip and Tyler Roy. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate that a lot. Hope you hit the notification bell as well so you got notified for this video and future videos. So my favourite comment for this week is Lando Official. Like I always say, I'm I'm grateful that my videos are helping you and I'm always grateful for positive feedback and good vibes and good energy because that's what this channel is about. That's all we that's all we bring, that's all we that's all we do. So yeah, appreciate your comment and I hope you find a lot of value from the videos that I put out. Let's dive into this video. So I've got this session here from a client who wanted me to mix their vocals. So the original mix that I've done from, I use third party plugins, UAD, Waves, Fab Filter, the usual plugins that you see me use in other videos. So what I've done is mix this vocal with Logic Pro stock plugins, just to show you what I would do. I'll play the vocals to you with uh, the plugins, and then I'm gonna bring the plugins in so you can hear how I've processed the vocals. So this is without the plugins. So I'm just going to go through each plugin that I've used and then explain why I've used it. So first of all, we've got the DSR. Get rid of some of them S's. That synths, we want to get rid of that. Then we've got the channel EQ, taking out some of that boxing that's around 300, slap boost of 6k, just make his vocals a bit more clearer, give it a bit more clarity. Slap boost at the top end just, just to give a bit of air and cutting the lows in case there's any rumble that we don't want. And just get rid of that, cut that all out. So DSR then channel EQ. You could do it the other way around, depending on the vocal that you're working with. Then we've got pitch correction, don't have to use that, but I like to use it sometimes to, just to give it a bit more of the uh, digital sound. Sometimes it, help, it helps to cut through the mix, but I haven't used it for this mix. I've got the fat effect. I don't think this plugin gets enough love. I don't, I don't think I've seen anyone use this on vocals, but what I've done, I've used the soft sat saturation and a bit of very drive. I'll boost it so you can hear what it's doing and then just bring it back. So that's adding a nice bit of grit. If you listen to some, most of the vocals in today's music, it sounds not distorted, but it's got like a, a grit, gritty sound to it. And I think this distortion plugin definitely helps. If that's what you're looking for, I definitely recommend using that one. Normally I'll use something like Decapitator or um, Fab Filter Saturn or Little Radiator, Devil De Devil Lock? Yeah, Devil Lock. But this, this does a good job. Moving on, we've got the compressor, so we want to tame some of the peaks. So if you notice, I've used the distortion knob on the compressor. I like that. It's a little bit loud, so I've pulled down the output gain, and I'm getting about 6 dB of compression. Medium attack, letting the transients through, fast release, so it pushes the vocals forward. It's added a slight volume to the vocals and I think as well as because I pushed the, the fat effects so I'm going to pull back the fat effects a touch. So 
So my second compressor, I've got a slower release and the tack's roughly the same, medium. And turn down the output gain just slightly as well. So if you just A, B your plugins, then anytime you use them, you can see whether or not you're adding a lot or any gain when you're using this plugin or when you're using their plugin. Um, it's kind of like gain stages throughout the, the mix or whatever you're mixing. So you, you can get tricked into thinking that you're doing a better job because you use plug it, you use the plugin to make it louder when you're just using the plugin to, for the process. So when I A, B, the volume shouldn't change too much. So that compressor is just squeezing the vocal, making it sound a lot more flat and even. So it just sits on top of that beat because we're just using a two track beat at the moment. We haven't got all the different stems in the, in the beat or the different files. That will help it to sit in the mix. For me, the vocal still sounding a bit boomy. So I'm, I'm guessing that this next ch uh, channel EQ that I'm using. Yeah, it's taking out some more of that low end. Let's see how it sounds. Yeah. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted. If you're unsure of what to take out in your vocals, you can do the sweep technique where you just grab a node and just go through with a small cue. And then anything that's like kind of poking out, sticking out and irritating your ears, then get rid of it. Don't take out too much of, of the unknown frequency unless it needs it. I'll just show you. See that? If you heard the woo woo type of sound, like the room and his vocal on a certain note, but it, when you boost it, it obviously you're exaggerating that sound. So when you take it out, it just cleans up the vocal a bit more. And that's what I've done with the first EQ. That was The first EQ was more for surgical, and then there's a bit of a boost just to even out the, the frequencies. Or the vocal. And then jumping over to my main Vox bus, got the multipressor, which is the multiband compressor. Normally I use the FabFilter multiband compressor. And I'm just boosting between one, just boosting between one and 8K. So this would be like the high mids, and then compressing it so it's not too, doesn't get wild. Same with the top end frequencies, the top frequencies, we're just boosting that attached by compressing it so it doesn't get too overbearing. So yeah, that's doing a nice job there. Multiband compression can help you to even out the vocal. Multiband compression can help you to shape the tone of the vocals. Then we've got a channel EQ just underneath that. I think I'm doing some more cuts. I've got a cut at 236 and 2.8 and 3.3 kilohertz. These frequencies, I'm going to boost them so you can hear why I've cut them. So as you see, I boosted it. There was like a screechy type of frequency that was just—it was bothering me. Probably could have just took that out in the first two EQs, but as you're going up, as you're going through and making different decisions and adding new plugins, you, you might start hearing different things that you didn't notice in the first place. So yeah, that's why you've got—I've got the channel EQ after the multi-band compression. 
So they're the plugins that I use for the vocals. I'm going to save this vocal chain so that you can have it and use in your sessions. There'll be a link in the description box below. So grab that if you want to use it. Then we've got some sense because I'm not finished yet. I like to have like a stereo. Normally I use, uh, what do I use? Fabla. Just to have like a, a, make the vocals a little bit wider. Um, by this time I've just used the spread, which is obviously Logic Pro's stop plugin. And it's just spreading some of the top end of the vocals. I play it, I boost it so you can hear it and then put it back. It's kind of acting like a, a parallel, so it's boosting the vocals as well slightly, and just slightly making them wider. Then we've got parallel compression as a next end. This is just to make, so what I've got already, I'm sending that to an aux track, compressing that, squeezing it, so that it just can sit underneath the main vocal. And that's doing a lovely job on that. Then, more distortion. So, like you don't have to do this. You don't have to use as much distortion as I have. So I didn't want to put distortion on the actual channel. I wanted to send some of the vocal to the distortion. So that's why, I, why it's called parallel distortion. This is what it's doing. That's cutting through nicely in the mix. Sounding sweet. Then, so this next send I'm using as like a top end shimmer. So what we've got here is a DSR. So the vocals going into the DSR, get rid of any um, S's that might be causing problems. Then we've got the channel EQ, and we've I've cut that at about 7K, and a slight boost at 14K just for more air. Then I've got a limiter that's going to squeeze that top end, and then DS it again just to tame the S's that might be too much for the ears and cause fatigue. Let's see what that's doing. So that's my vocal chain. If I was to use stock plugins, I use parallel distortion, parallel compression, and parallel top end, so like an exciter. Then we've got the the effects. So a little bit of delay, bit of reverb, reverb and delay. That's all. This is what it sounds like with and without. <laughs> Way mighty new, keep testing. Though you know that my life like a movie. Young nigga rise up, tryna shoot me. Me, I put a nigga straight on the nose beat. I don't f with no big, no groupie. I, I, I put pain in the track, can you feel it? If I break your heart, I don't mean it. I got niggas round there, they don't ease it. She a nigga rock straight from. So, listening back, the, the reverb sounds a bit bright for me. 
Okay, let's talk about the delay first. We've got the delay, and that's acting like a slap delay. This is what it sounds like. Dogs in my system is tempting. Tempted. I'm up pushing, drenching. Way money new. Keep testing. All that's doing is just giving it a bit of space and making the vocals a little bit more wider, less mono, and kind of separates it from the beat so that it's got its own little room, its own little space. The reverb. Love my go out back, I ain't slept since. All the drugs in my system is tempting, tempted. I might push in, drench him. Way mighty new, keep testing. Don't you know that my life like a movie? Young nigga rise up, tryna shoot me. Me, I put a nigga straight on the nose beat. I'm So I had the pro crew fear on it for some reason. But this, let me just show you what I would do to sort that vocal, sort that reverb out. Love my nigga a while back, I ain't slept since. All the drugs in my system is tempting, tempted. I might push in, drench him. Way mighty new, keep testing. Don't you know that my life like a movie? Young nigga rise up, tryna shoot me. Me a put a nigga straight on the news beat. I don't f with no big, no groupie. I put paid in the check, can you feel it? If I break your heart, I don't need it. I got niggas round there, they don't reason. She a nigga rock straight for no reason. She my rider, she gon' tear that case. Young nigga rise up and blaze. Yeah, so that's what I do. I'll listen to the vocal, listen to the reverb, probably on its own, um, see what's annoying, and then play it all together. But the vocals, if I want to get rid of the S's, then or if it's sounding too sibilant, you can either cut some of the top end, or you can put a de on in there, compress it as well, so that it sits in the mix, and it's not too wild, doing all sorts. And yeah, choose choose a reverb that suits the actual mix, suits the, the vibe of the track. So the thing about mixing is just finding your own style, your own technique and understanding the reasons why you're making certain decisions when you're using certain plugins. So if you're trying to distort the vocals or you want it to cut through, what plugin can you use for that? And just getting a better understanding of why you're doing certain things when you're treating your vocals. Learn how to use the Logic Pro stock plugins before you start moving on to third party plugins and getting that practice. Let's say it takes 10,000 hours before you're phenomenal at what you do. So yeah, practice, practice, practice. Get vocals, get any vocals you can from your own recording sessions or other people's and just mix, just keep mixing. There's loads of stuff online where you can download vocals and get practicing. If there's anything unsure about, you weren't too sure about in the video, Drop a comment below or hit me up on Insta. DMs are always open, always happy to help. If this video helped at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.